If you've been using the internet recently, you've probably run into something like this. Uh, a case where you have an image or something you want to bring to the user's attention that you want to put on top of the uh, web page itself and dim the background. Um, I have a project where I've been working on this in Swing. Here you see a J frame, and this J frame contains a couple of J panels and a J combo box uh, that works like you would expect. And all of these things have been added to the J frames. J layered pane, uh, and they have different Z orders, as you can see. Um, if you click on, say, this red J panel or this blue one, uh, you see that they flash. And if you click in the part where they share, you notice that the correct one flashes. The red one is not flashing here. Um, and like I said, the J, the J combo box works like you would expect. Uh, this gray area in the background is actually uh, a shroud, like the one you saw. And um, in this case, it's actually behind everything. And this slider here controls its position. This isn't the way it would normally work, but for this demonstration, it works pretty well. So I can take that shroud, and I can bring him in front of the, uh, the red panel and the J combo box. And now the mouse events to those aren't being propagated. And that is because I have actually attached a mouse listener to this shroud, which, by the way, is basically a J panel um, with some custom painting code. And that's all. Um, and I can take the shroud and bring it all the way to the front. And now I can't click the blue thing either. I can't click anything. The, the shroud is intercepting all the mouse events. Normally, you would have some way on the shroud to dismiss the shroud. I mean, you wouldn't rely on a slider like this. But uh, just for this demonstration, I didn't do something like that. So anyway, that's that.